Hi, I'm Charlie and today I am thrilled to spend some time with Chris Smalling. Hi Mike, uh, sorry Chris, <laughs> even the best of us get names mixed up sometimes. Well, you're really tall, are you still growing? Um, I hope not, I think I'm, I'm just nearly 6'4 and I think that's a good height for me to, to hopefully stay at but I, I don't think I'm growing too much now. Okay, so your full name is Christopher Lloyd Smalling, mm -hmm. the same as the bloke in Back to the Future, Christopher Lloyd. If you could go back to any point in your life, when would you choose? Any point in my life? Um, let's have a think. Maybe back to the primary school days when I played with Watersley boys and it was all uh, all uh, schoolmates and we all played up the road and that was a, that was a fun time. And yeah. Just playing after school was, was, was really fun. Now, it's senior school for me this year. And other than PE, what was your favourite subject at school? My favourite was uh, maths. Okay. When well, I that's that's my favourite too. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh no, no, I enjoyed I enjoyed maths, and then when I got a bit older in um, secondary school, it was more sort of business studies. But maths was a uh, was one that I, I enjoyed that more than say English or. <laughs> yeah. So, I hear you're really clever and had plans to study financial economics at university. That's true. Um, so if I earn five pound a week in pocket money, how many weeks would it take before I could buy Ronaldo back? <laughs> well, I think you might need to ask Daddy for a bit more pocket money. Okay. Yeah. Could you get any of the players to you know offer five pound a week just so we can try and raise that cause? Um, yeah, I could do a whip round. I'll ask in training tomorrow. I'm sure there'll be a few lads. Yeah, brilliant. <laughs> well, my dad says that you can tell a lot about a person from their choices. Is it okay if I try this with you? Go for it. Okay. Do you prefer cats or dogs? Dogs. Action films or comedy films? Tough one, comedies. Uh, Chicago or San Jose? Chicago. Etihad or Anfield? <laughs> <laughs> Etihad. Okay. Well, uh, Chris Smalling or Mike Smalling? I think Mike's going to be sticking with me now for a little while. Okay. Ronaldo or Messi? Messi. Okay. What spice do you prefer on your Nando's chicken? I'm a lemon and herb. Okay. I know. Uh, I'm not trying to impress anyone with hot. I'm just plain and simple. I'm not a too spicy man. Well, Phil Jones' funny faces are Ashley Young's jokes. You can't miss a Joan a facial. Yeah. Well, talking to Phil Jones, what's it like playing with him when he pulls all those funny faces? <laughs> Got to say, when we're playing, I don't actually see them. It's more when after the game and you're looking through the match pictures that you literally just catch him. If he's on a picture, then the chances are eight times out of ten he's he's pulling some sort of facial. Well, can you do an impression of him? Well, I can. <laughs> Your one's much better. So, you come from a non-league football background. What advice would you give kids that start at non-league clubs that want to be professional football players? Um, I think practice. I think if you've if you've got that dream, always always strive for it. And even when you're playing, say non-league, and you're probably only training twice a week, whereas some of the kids say in the academies here might train four times a week. I think just keep that practice going, but keep it alongside your studies as well, because in in, in sport you never know what might happen around the corner. So if you can keep those up with as much practice as well around your schoolwork, then just keep keep believing. Well, that's great advice, and I'm sure you've inspired lots of children there. Um, and finally, please, can you stay on the pitch for 90 minutes against City this time? <laughs> I had to learn the hard way, and yeah. um, now hopefully I can build on our home performance and, and put that away one to, to bed. Definitely. <laughs> well, you scored in the home one, so let's see you do that at, at the Etihad. Definitely. I'll be looking well, to do that. Well, cheers for talking to me today, Chris. I've got my autograph book with me, as always. Do you mind signing it for me? Yeah. No problem. Just if you open that. Um, would you mind putting to Charlie all the best from your good friend Mike? Mike, yeah. Who have already who have we already got in here? Okay. I'll start that off. What did you say again? Um, to Charlie, oh, all yeah. the best from your good friend. first uh, autograph as Mike. Okay, well, <laughs> yeah, thank you very much.
keep that safe. Cheers. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too.